Okay, so how did I make Twister OS look like Steam OS? And it also runs a full version of Steam within Wine. So start, programs, and Steam. It also works with big picture mode, which is a nice armchair experience for picking your games. I've already done a video showing the games and everything and the operating system working. So let's show you how I installed it into Twister OS. I'm using my version of KDE Plasma, but you can use Windows, Mac OS, or any version of Linux to do this. So go to the Twister OS website and look for the download, which is here. So the latest version is Twister OS version 3.1.0. So just click on any of these download links. I've already downloaded it. It's in my downloads folder. Then you need to launch Raspberry Pi Imager. Choose OS, scroll down to use custom. I've got Twister OS in this folder. Now for some reason I did need to unzip the download that I had before I used Imager. Usually you don't have to do that. And then if you grab whatever you're writing to, I'm using a SD card in this case. Let's pop that in. I was using an NVMe drive for the previous SteamOS video, but I'm using an SD card because I might use it in a portable build. And choose storage, and this is my SD card, and next. I'm not going to make any changes, and yes. Pop your password in, and come back when that's all done. That's all done, so I can shut this down, and I can take the NVMe drive out because I'm going to boot from the SD card that I've just written to. So let's just start that. And Twister OS is booting up for the first time. So I can skip all of this. Obviously don't skip it if you've not done any of this before. Now I do love Twister OS and all its themes, but I especially love the way that they've set up Box64, Box86 and Wine, because that's a, a difficult process. But also, I kind of miss that you don't have any window snapping. So I really like the way it looks, but there is no window snapping on it. And the way I'm used to launching an app is to press the Windows key and start typing, but you can see nothing happens if you do that. Now there are loads of ways of launching apps, so you can search for it from here, but you can also uh, launch this and even search for things in this. But I find that uh, the way with KDE Plasma is a bit quicker. So let's change that desktop environment. So if we open a terminal and we do sudo at install kde-plasma-desktop. And we'll say yes. So it's asking for a display manager on the next screen. So we need to pick SDDM. And when that's all finished, it will look like this. So we can close that down. And if we go to restart, it will look like this. And you can see desktop session Plasma Wayland. We want to change it to Plasma X11 for compatibility. And let's type the password in here, still Raspberry, and launch it. So you can see it looks very different. If I press the Windows key, you can see it shows the apps. Uh, and if I start typing, say I start typing Imager, then it comes up with suggestions which I really like. Uh, but also if we launch something like files, then we can snap it to any position we want, which I just think is really nice. So it doesn't look very SteamOS. So let's press the Windows key and start typing theme. And you can see here, we've got all the Twister stuff here, but we've also got the KDE bits here, global theme. So now if I go to get new global themes, and in here, type in Steam, you can see Plasma Deck. So I just click on that and click Install. You can see it even does this launch screen as well. So that's now downloading it into this selection. There's loads of themes. You can go for all sorts of things, Mac OS, Windows, all sorts of Linux themes, all sorts of very nice looking themes, very unusual looking themes. And that's finished, and it now says uninstall here, so we can close that down. Click on Plasma Deck, and we want to apply desktop and window layout, and apply. 
and it does this to the background which is like a Steam OS background but I wanted it to look more like the Steam Deck so I just searched with Google and found a different desktop so if you right click you can change your wallpaper here so if I just pick anything else just to just to show that it's working but all I did was uh, if we launched the Chrome browser I think I did Steam Deck wallpaper 1080 maybe and I just looked for one that looked like this I'm not sure if that's the actual one maybe this one yeah and just save that so if I just save that into downloads and then I can right click configure desktop and wallpaper add image go to downloads and click on that one and that should show up here yeah it does apply and OK so now it's looking a bit more SteamOS and if I shut down it starts up with this theme which looks cool. You can go much further under global theme and you can change all sorts of elements of it if you want to. So now the Steam bit. So if we go back to the browser and we go to download Steam and then go to just this one will do. Now you need to pick the Windows version because what it's going to want to do is to give you the Linux version. So if you click on Windows here, yeah, steamsetup.exe. So if we open that up, you can see it's in my downloads folder. So if I launch Wine now, so press the Windows key and start typing Wine. I'm going to go into Wine configuration first of all. And you can see here it's set up for Windows 10. Windows 10 seemed to work the best for my games. Um, and there are some other settings you can change in here. So the graphics, I lowered this and emulate a virtual desktop. I changed this to 1280 by 720, but whatever works for you. Lower resolutions will give better performance, but won't look as good. So now if I launch Wine, so Wine Desktop, I can go Start and Control Panel and Add Remove Programs. And I want to install a program, so click on Install. And then we need to locate it, so it's in the Downloads folder, Steam Setup. Let's open that up. And you can see it's just like a normal Windows install. English, where it's going to locate it. And it's finished, so we can do Run Steam. I can go full screen. Oh, went a bit weird. And it's going to update in the normal way. And it goes slow, but I'm sure it is still launching. Oh, there it is. So now you need to sign in with a Steam account. So I've got the Steam app on my phone. So if I basically just log in that way and sign in. And that's it. Steam is installed and up and running. It's good to leave it for a bit to let it populate everything that's on here because it does go slow initially. But if I click on my library now, all my games and everything come up and I can just click on a game to install it. So obviously a game I know worked was Half-Life 2. So I just click on install and that'll install in the normal way as if I was on a Windows device. As you can see it's downloading now. So Half-Life has finished installing um, but what I want to do is change the desktop resolution. Now I've been trying with this. I'm sure on the other OS that I did, so before this one, I could change it to 720 but on this if I change it to 720 and hit apply it just freezes and I can't get out of it. I have to switch it off and on again. But I looked up on the Raspberry Pi documentation and if you launch the terminal you can use something called Raindrop. Now to install it, because it wasn't installed on this one, you do sudo apt install Raindrop and then once it's installed just type Raindrop and you'll get the standard Raspberry Pi screen configuration and this seemed to work for me so I just changed the resolution to 720, hit apply and then hit OK and I've got 720. I might even go lower than that but let's try Half-Life first of all. So if I launch Wine and then from the menu let's go with Steam and Half-Life 2 and that's launching. And then just go into Options 
and the video and just lower everything you can and 4x3 is probably going to be better as well and advanced so let's just lower everything here I'm going to leave on multi-core rendering I'm not sure if that will make it better or worse and we'll disable the aero extensions okay we've got to relaunch the game for that I didn't disable that one before but let's try it without that okay well let me go into episode 2 such a great intro there's a Last of Us game that does very similar to this. Yeah, very similar. Am I supposed to be going this way or the other way? things that pulls you up. Let's hope this still works. <laughs> Stand back. Here goes. Oh wow. Wow. I forgot what a kick this thing has. <laughs> so that's working. Yeah, you take the gravity gun. Obviously the frame rate again isn't brilliant. You're be you're, be you're better with it than I am. Ah. When I couldn't find you, I got I know, I shouldn't have worried. I'm going to see if the resolution can be at 640 by 480. So let's do that raindrop again. So launch the terminal, raindrop, and 640 by 480. This will look awful. Okay. Oh, it's working. So <laughs> wine configuration and oh is it not big enough to go on the screen oh it's so annoying when you get that yeah it's not so oh it might be graphics oh there it is 640 by 480 and but can I save it I don't think I can save it unless I do enter that might have worked. So let's launch the desktop and Steam. So recent games, Half-Life 2. So what does it say it's at now? It looks like it's uh, 640 by 480. It is. And we'll continue where we got to. It already feels a bit snappier. I heard Vortigaunts a few minutes ago. Maybe they're still around. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. We've got a long way to go. To obviously, it doesn't them. look as good. It'd be nice to have but it's nice to have options. And obviously, it depends on the game you've got as to how that's going to be. Oh, I feel that's coming. It definitely moved. Oh, that one moved. <laughs> this is so good. Come on, let's have an enemy. Let's blast through that. Whoa! Oh, I've lost that rock. Oh my god! What? The citadel. What the hell is happening? Yeah, this is running all right, you know. <laughs> oh dear. Can we get cover? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get under here. This is so good. Look at that. Right, is she following me? No. But I think we can see that that's working and 640 by 480 has helped. So if you want to turn your Raspberry Pi into a Steam Deck. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. First days all over it's really well done. I hope we don't get many more. Okay, so I think I'll end it there. Hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.